Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Terraria. Let's go in here and talk about how things are going to be going. So that we have the old man. We're going to go and delete this guy. I'm going to let's just test it out journey mode to see if maybe I wanted to play that as when 1.4 turns out journey mode. It's interesting. Interesting creative mode, but we're going to go and delete creative mode right now. We're not going to play that. We're going to do classic. Um, this is Natasha. This is the character I was playing back in 2015. Um, I only have two, hour, two hours on her. So we're going to get rid of Natasha. Goodbye, Natasha. I'm going to basically eliminate all possible avenues for cheating here. So goodbye, Natasha. We hardly knew ye. There you go. All right. So let's do a brand new player here and talk about expectations. Um, so what's going to happen is I'm basically going to hit every boss that I can. Um, what I'm not going to do, though, is to get every item because that's just ridiculous. Um, that's actually kind of cool. I like the robes. I'm not wild about the hair color. We can totally change that up. Um, we're going to be creating possibly multiple worlds because it's usually what we need to be able to um, get most of the things, not necessarily all of them. Let's get you to more or less my skin tone, which is around there. Yeah. Or, I don't know. It depends on whether I've been in the sun a lot. Like right now, I've been in the sun like two weeks. I'm totally that right now. I'm totally a vampire. But, um, probably around like there. Yeah, somewhere in there. I like the rope. I like that neat look. Not what about the shoes. Let's push you down to just black. Let's go white shoes. I usually do white shoes whenever I'm out for a jog. I haven't been out for a jog in a while, but if I was going to be out for a jog, I'd totally do white shoes. I also have um, a goatee. Let's see if we can match that up here. There we go. Oh, that looks like Obi-Wan Kenobi. You know what? I can't be... I can't can't fight that. Let's do it. Oh, it's journey mode. Nah, Shazbot. I don't want that. Hold on. Yeah, delete me because I chose the wrong thing. I want classic. Soft core is what we're known for now. So the idea, if this works out, and sadly I need to make sure that it's happening again. Um, basically, if I enjoy this, and I probably will, then what will probably happen is that I'm going to go classic and then... Uh, then probably expert, and then maybe even master. We'll see how well that goes. Um, what? Where did the... Hold up. There was a freaking robe we were wearing? Where the hell did that go? Um, it's a very good question. Maybe it's in here? Ah, here we go. That's where it went. You know what? Gray robe, I'm totally fine with this. That works. Let's do that. Okay. Oh, and I didn't set my name, so let's do peace. There we go. Okay, so that's our... That's going to be our brand new character. That's what we're going to start off with. Let's do... Whoops, not... We don't care about you. Let's select you and play. Um, these are the worlds... Oh, actually, we did play 2018. I did not... I was not aware of that. All right, let's trash that world. Buy a credit to Koa. Cred to... How did I even come up with that name? It's a very good question. This is a journey world. Interesting, but not currently helpful. Tried that out yesterday. Or the day before, two days ago, whatever it was. Let's do a new world. Um, let's see. I think this should be super califragilistic expialidocious. There we go. It's probably spelled wrong, but it should be fine. Um, the name. We can't change this later. Let's just call this Let's Play. Uh, we are, of course, going to be creating multiple worlds, but that'll at least let me know that this is our main world. This is one we're going to want to go back to. Classic is correct. We want to do this at a large. Um, let's see. I'm not wild about Crimson, so we're going to go Corruption. Yeah, the Crimson is just... It's creepy. We're going to create another world for Crimson later. We're going to do it. But, at least for right now, the main world we're going to be in is going to have Corruption in it. Okay, good to go. Let's do it. And take a minute as it goes here. There we go. All right. Now, of course, we first start out, it's going to be a little slow, but that's just how Terraria rolls. I did play a little bit in journey mode, but, um, oh, yeah, that, okay, yeah, I've seen this, the, I've seen the beginner seed, uh, or the party girl seed, as it's called. 0516-2020 is the, um, it's the party girl seed, I believe. I think that's the party girl seed? That's the, um, isn't it? Is that the party girl seed, or is that another seed? 
because it's one of those that makes it so the party girl happens instead of the guide. Um, it also makes some really weird things happen, which I'm not sure I'm ready for. So I haven't played this game, like seriously, in at least three years, if not five. Definitely predates me and Moon Lord. So I'm going in this like I'm a total beginner. Like, I don't know what's up. I've looked at the wiki for the past couple of days just to make sure that, you know, I'm not going in completely blind. Like, I'm not going to be an idiot. But I'm going to miss a lot of stuff because it's mostly going to be brand new to me. Like, I'm just going in, no idea what the hell I'm doing. Is there something else in the seat? Yeah, there probably is. Um, there's probably a lot of things in this. You know what? We'll do that for our second world. When we do, uh, when we do, uh, the Crimson World, we'll do 0516 2020. Because that is the release of 1.4. That's probably like an anniversary release or something like that. The final, re the final seed release, something like that. Water plants, come on. Disarming broken traps. Yeah, right. Okay, here we go. Let's play. All right, and we do left cursor too. Right. Okay, so here we are. We start off with a shameful copper sword, sword. So really bad. Copper pickaxe, copper axe. Okay. Well, the first thing we gotta do is cut down some trees, right? Oh, wow, this is so incredibly slow. I forgot about this. Okay, it's fine. What do we get for Raider Tree? We get 45 pieces of wood. You know, that's not bad for a tree that size. It takes 10 pieces of wood, I believe, to make a campfire. And, of course, we need a lot of gels and whatnot. You know, it's a little loud. Let me, uh, let me turn that down a little bit. Where's my settings at? Let's turn down. I think that's regular sounds, right? Let's knock that down to, like, 20%. Okay. Oh, bad guy. All right. Oh, and the guide apparently has arrows now. Oh, there you go. He can actually defend himself. Way to go, guide. Good try. Get bad at it, but good try. Okay, we know. I think I, I know. I need like gel for something. We don't kill. We don't kill critters. All right. We're not here to kill critters. Poor little bunny rabbits and. Squirrels and whatever else. We don't want to. We don't want to see them dead. No reason to knock them out. Should we be replanting trees? I've been watching some people play some Don't Starve. The copper just fell out of the tree. What? Why did? Why did copper just fall out of the tree? That was weird. How the hell does copper even get in the tree in the first? That's got to be the squirrels' problem, right? Maybe we saw the squirrel leave, the squirrel leave the tree. It left copper behind. I'm making stuff up, I have no idea. And there's copper fine here. Or where's that copper? What is that? Oh, sorry. Um, maybe that was nothing. Maybe that was just blood. That might have been blood. Alright, let's roam around for a bit. Let's explore the map a little bit. I'm gonna poke occasionally. Get some flowers, day blooms, mushrooms. Oh, here we go, desert. I remember right, we need cactus for some reason. I totally forgot why right now, but I'm sure it's good for us, so I'll do this. That is a pickaxe. It's not going to help. Okay, I think we need cactus for... I don't know what we need cactus for. Maybe it's good for torches or something. I have no idea. Water leaf seems good. Depends how long the desert is. I don't think we have any effects, right? There's no, like, hunger meter. We have seen people playing, like, Don't Starve, and I'm thinking, like, okay, when I chop down trees... Gotta remember to replant them. Well, no, we don't really need to do that. Tyler, guys. Can't pick you guys up. Is this the ocean already? No, it's not. Okay, we should probably build over this. Oh, there's some cool water effects now. There's like a wave that follows you. Wow, I've been out of the Troria for so long, I didn't even know that was a thing. Alright, I like the wave motion physics. That's interesting. Okay, anyway, so don't get too distracted. These are probably just regular trees. Right? They just look different, that's all. Um, palm wood, not regular wood. Okay, so it doesn't stack. Getting shades of Dwarf Fortress here, where it's like 17,000 different types of wood, and they never stack together. All right, Vulture, I know you're going to be a problem for me. All right, I know it's going to be a thing. Oh, wow, this is going to be an issue. All right. Well, the sword would be better here, no doubt, but also wouldn't reach, so 
We're just gonna slowly take away, even if this takes all day. It's just safer. One damage each, though. I mean, it's gonna get there eventually. Can't take longer than seven or eight days, though. I got things to do. He is poking me quite a bit, though. I need to, like, time these pushes. He screams every time, too. Oh, okay, my health is up to... It's not that bad. It'll regen. It'll be fine. Come on. Come on, you know you want to die. Just drop. Okay. I mean, that hurt. It would be kind of funny if he had killed me just as I killed him. We should probably grab the cactus. What if the cactuses grow back? Seems like they would. Doesn't seem like there's any way to replant them. Like the trees, they drop, you know, acorns occasionally, or I don't know what the palm trees drop. Also acorns? I guess it depends on where you plant them then. Are the acorns at least stack? The acorns seem to be stacking. Yeah, they're stacking. All right. Little scorpion. Hey, the scorpion dude. And we're back to regular stuff. Okay, so we did not... I didn't see a pyramid in the desert. That's unfortunate, but not unexpected. Uh, there's cool little dragonflies, though. Oh, that's new. I don't remember seeing, seeing that before. Okay, let's make some wooden platforms. Just use up all our wood right now. I don't care. Oh, we got some wooden platforms already, don't we? What is, what is this? Oh, palm wood. All right, drop that down. All right, I probably don't need most of this stuff, so let's just lay this out. Just try not to get my feet wet. I mean, it's probably not a great idea to just knock out all these lily pads, so let's, uh, let's spare them a little bit. Oh, okay. Can't jump when I'm in the water. Gotcha. I did drop, I did drop a couple of those in there. Okay, that's fine. It's fine. Here, drop. Oh, right, you need to be attached to something, doesn't it? Forgetting all the rules, trying to relearn what the rules are now. Okay, there. Do that. There we go. I should probably be using Smart Cursor for this, huh? Uh, is it Smart Cursor? Is it a halt or control? I think it's control. Oh, okay. We're near corruption. Good to know. Good to know. Back up. Back up. I don't want you right now. Okay, so we probably don't want to go that way right now. We need to run. We need to run. Running, 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 running. Guide, help. Guide, help. These guys should lose aggro after a while, right? Oh, I did poke them, though. That's probably going to complicate matters. Well, I could treat them like the vulture and just swing until they're gone. Oh, okay. Or until they murder me. Also a possibility. They could very well murder me now. Guide, help. Scorpion, help me. Scorpion's going to be destroyed, isn't it? They move fast, though. Okay, I might drown, though. That might... Oh, they don't like water. Okay, that's actually really good to know. Oh, they they actually don't mind that much water. Okay. Though, I can stay down here a, bit, a little bit longer than they can worry about me, so... This could work. They can't seem to really touch me that way. Alright, alright. We can make this work, maybe. I mean, they seem to bounce off the water pretty heavily. I mean, that did almost die there. That's true. Maybe this won't work after all. I'm trying to see if this will... I mean, they really don't like me, do they? We have a long amount of breath, though. I did learn recently, there's some people who can hold their breath for, like, half an hour, which is crazy to me. Like, I don't know how the hell that happens, but apparently, like, you know when you hold your breath, you have that... that moment... Oh, whoops, okay. I don't know what happened there. Oh, I drowned! Okay, nope, that's fair. Um, but you have that moment where you're, like, starved for, like, a breath for any kind of semblance of oxygen. Apparently, that's all in your head. That is something you can learn to suppress. And eventually just get over. So that's interesting. I didn't know that was a thing. I don't know if I'm up for that necessarily, but... Okay, I need a weapon that swings. This poking weapon is not going to cut it. So we need... Probably need to just dive. Probably just need to go and bury ourselves. Oh, a living tree, though. This could be good. Oh, the fallen logs. I read about these. These are important to keep around, and I forget why. I don't remember why, but they're important. So I will not knock that down. Let's see if there's something good in the chest. We've oh, got step stool. That's weird, but okay. Is that an accessory? It is an accessory. All right. Uh, let me drop down here so hopefully the slime can't get to me. Some killing potions, iron bar, grenade, 14 bottles, a mining potion, recall potion. All right. 
shurikens. Alright, just grab everything. And let's see if I can knock these. Oh, okay, nope, don't do that. Uh, hit him with the. Hit him with the axe instead. There we go. That's what I want to do. And then can I knock this thing out? How do I do this? Pickaxe? Yeah, there we go. Okay, good. Probably also a good idea to put down some torches. Uh, probably also a good idea to chop down some trees so that we have torches. Excuse me. Oh, alright. It's gonna be a constant problem for me, aren't you? Oh, there we go. Uh, we need gel and wood for torches. I've also seen this whole thing about luck. The luck mechanic seems really complicated, and I'm probably not gonna worry about maximizing my luck until probably mid-game. Just gonna warn you right now. I mean, I know it's going to be pretty important for, like, the drops we're going to get and how much grinding we need to do, but I'm telling you, that luck mechanic seems really complicated. And a grapefruit just fell off the tree. Okay, food's apparently a thing. Do we actually seem to worry about food? Okay, just knock you out. I mean, if the axe is the only weapon I have, that's just how it goes. I mean, I know it's not, but it also kind of is. Um, maybe we want to make, like, a workbench first. Let's do that. I would like... Yeah, workbench, please. Okay, we got an achievement for that. Somehow, in the last five years, either they added an achievement... They must have added an achievement for workbench. There we go. Alright, so what can we make here? I can make a bunch of nonsense. Um, I guess I can make a wooden sword. Would that be? I mean, that sounds horrible. Oh, a fishing pole. That sounds like a great idea. Let's do that. Wooden armor. Sounds like a really bad idea. I can make a wooden sword. I mean, that's a little tempting. Palm wood. Okay. Oh, cactus. Actually, this is stuff I'm supposed to use cactus for. Yes. Let's do that. That takes 30 cactus. Oh, some guy is trying to bother me right now. For some reason, I expected when I was in the crafting menu. That it would have paused, but that is not the case. Okay, good to know. So they're probably gonna be ambushing me pretty soon. Because they're like that and they're jerks, so who they are, I'm not entirely sure, but they anywhere are jerks. Um, so let's let's bury ourselves for a little bit. Let's also create some I was here and initially to make some torches. Let's do that. 39 torches doesn't seem like a whole hell of a lot, but I'll take it. We only have 46 cactus right now. I say only, because sadly that's how it goes. There's a bunny right there. Hey, bunny. Um, so let's dig down first. Let's do the alt cursor. No. Nope. Uh, if I just head down. Oh, there we go. Okay. It does work. Great. Let's put in... Well, let's put in a torch right there. And also to make sure no one gets down to me, let's do that. I mean, they can probably move down to get after me, but it's at least some protection. Okay. So, alt, control, what's this? Alt, oh, there we go. Yep, zombies, okay. So let's go this way. Oh, we can totally just come down here. Okay, that's rude. He's gonna just jump on my face and murder me, isn't he? Yep, yep. That was not any kind of protection at all. All right, so much for that. It stopped the bunny from coming down. But let's be honest, we weren't really worried about the bunny. Okay. It's fine. We know our house is over here. First couple murders, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. It's okay. We'll get a revenge soon enough. I mean, I really, I should probably just close myself in. You know? Maybe create some cactus breastplate. That's probably not a bad idea. Maybe just... I mean, all I need is just a little bit of earth, which I have. Let's just enclose ourselves in right now. We make doors and shit later. Like, right now, it's not important. Let's just close ourselves in. There. Now, nobody else can get in here. We'll make a door later, but we'll get there. Um, so, there. Alright. Oh, there's our graveyard. Um, I think we need to get rid of that. Can I get rid of that? Axe doesn't work. Hold up. Hold up. Can I get rid of this freaking? There we go. There's the gravestone. Now can I just get rid of it entirely? I'd like to chuck that in the bin, please. Thank you. Okay. Alt cursor is a toggle, so that's great. 
and... Okay, so what I was doing way back in the day is I'd do this zigzag to kind of get myself down in, in, below the earth. Uh, the trouble is you never want to go higher than your jump height. Ooh, that's just narrowly out. That's okay. So I need to do like one block higher than that next time. Also, mainly did this to get stone for the most part. And of course, we need to be putting down uh, these every so often. Let's go with that. And I guess we go back down. I'm gonna have to eventually get the number keys. It'll be, it'll be fluid soon enough. I mean, there's a reason why I call myself a beginner player right now. It's because I really feel like I am. There we go. That seems just about right. Okay, so smart cursor works out pretty well. All right, so it's like three blocks tall for the passageway. Good to know, good to know. I'm probably going to have to put down these a lot more often. Oh, is that... totally forgotten what all these are. Is that iron? It is iron. Great. Uh, we should probably at least move aside for iron ore, right? We're going to need stone, we're going to need iron ore, we're going to need all the things. We need a house, we need NPCs, we need better weapon. I mean, iron is already a start for the better weapon, right? Probably stone for a forge? I mean, if we're going left Minecraft logic, which, why the hell not at this point? Then maybe. So we'll probably just get as much stone as we can. I want to replant these trees, too. The acorns are probably good for something. Everything's good for something. Okay, so I want to be careful, so I need to go down one more. And then go over this side. Oh, and we are for our first opening. Fantastic. Um, could also be a problem. I don't have any ropes right now, so how are we going to get back up? I guess we could die. That seems like a bad plan overall, though. Not really so much of a plan as a misadventure. Alright, so... Oh, that looks like gold over there. Might not be, but it looks like it. Uh, let's see. Get me some... Oh, turn off the alternate cursor. There we go. Alright, that's what I want there. Yeah, okay, so we can't drop... Alright, even though that's empty space, we can't drop down that far. That's great. Um, Alright, need to mine you out. That's fine. Just getting used to this. Getting used to it. Uh, let's build you over that way. Get rid of you. I hear a lot of zombies up there, and I do want to knock out the zombies, but... Oh, this is tin. Okay. It had kind of a gold look to it, which is why I'm surprised. Uh, tin plus... Shoot. It's been too long since I played Dwarf Fortress. I don't remember exactly what the setups are. It's tin plus something equals, like, bronze, I think? I don't remember. There, that'll at least get us back up. We're gonna need a lot more wood, though, aren't we? We have a lot of platforms. We should be fine for a while. Okay, how do I put these? Ah, there we go. That did it. Lesser healing potion. What? Couldn't spring for a greater? That's alright. We'll get those later. We're not actually too far down. It is daytime up there now. Which means I can resume my explorations. Oh, no, actually it's not? Oh, I thought it was daytime because that was lit up. I thought that was an actual thing. Never mind. Uh, what I should be doing... Well, we'll wait till we're ready. I was going to say what I should be doing is kind of prepping for... Ah, jump. There we go. Um, prepping for something. Where did my... I went down a workbench, right? Where'd that go? Is that it? Also, I kind of need that it grassed over here. All right. Um, do I want to fight these guys? What's a strong word? I want my workbench is what I want. Right, I'm not sure what happened. Um, let's just continue on our little adventure down below the earth here. It's a lot smaller than I thought of. Oh, there it is. Movement speed increased and monster spawns reduced. Where is that coming from, though? It's gotta be... It's gotta be the sunflowers, right? But they're way over there. That's a huge area of effect. Okay, anyway, let's not worry about it. Let's set up. We're gonna need a lot more torches. Uh, let's keep on going. Let's go, let's say, probably 10 blocks in this way. I don't know why 10 blocks, just because, I suppose. I'm mean, just hold my cursor over in this general direction. We'll go this way. 
If we find another passageway, that'd be keen. If not, we can always dig our way through. Nothing wrong with collecting some dirt and stone. I want to get deep enough that we get a whole bunch of stone, because we're going to need a lot of it to make our castle. So what we're doing way back in the day, and this is probably still viable, is we are going to find a floating island and make that our base. The reason for this, if I remember correctly, and it's been a while, but if I remember correctly, um, events like Blood Moon and Frost and all those good stuff usually happen on the ground. So if you set things up in the sky, the NPCs won't necessarily die horribly. Now, they might still die horribly, but it won't necessarily be my fault. One thing great about this zigzag is that the zombies get stuck and they don't necessarily come after you. I do see a pit below me here, though. This could be bad. Um, though, it looks like it's... Oh, okay, they're coming for me. Hey, guys. Well, at least I can just poke you this way, and you're unlikely to kill me. I keep on poking him. It's funny the other guy jumped. He was down here. Why did he jump? Well, this is just going to take forever. Uh, beginning Terraria. What do you want to do, man? It's, it's, what do you, it's how it starts. He had gel. Oh, I suppose he is a slime zombie, isn't he? What does it take to get a crit? Just some luck. That's all I need is some luck. Be poked, sir. Finally. Alright. Um, I'm going to go this way. The jellyfish this does seem problematic, but not necessarily hugely so. There you go. Ah, the music changed. Okay, now it is daytime. Alright, we want to just get past the jellyfish. Looks like there might be a home over there. If I get right underneath here, it should be about lined up where I want to be. We need like a shit ton of stone. How many can we hold at any one time? Is it in fact going to be a metric shit ton? Or is it only a imperial shit ton, which isn't nearly as good? Uh, let me also just make sure we can jump back up here, put that down, and did I do that right? Oh no, you can't build on top of your head. It makes sense when I say it like that, but it just it just seems weird. Okay, so here, build right above my head. How about that? Nope, right above, there we go. Probably need more of those. Ah, there is a chest down there, all right. Also a picture? Why would there be a random picture here? That's not quite tall enough. Can I grab? There we go. Okay, there we go. That worked out. I'm going to need some kind of item for sure to get me up. Like a, I don't know, cloud in the bottle or something. Oh, this just drops me straight through. Great. Cobwebs. Well, that's just disturbing. That means there's giant spiders somewhere in here. I wouldn't be a fantasy game without giant spiders. Hate to say it, but it's true. Uh, some kind of something over here. What is this? That is iron ore, all right. So what's inside the box, what do we got? We have torches, we have recall potion, iron bar, bombs, and hey, there we go, quick cloud in a bottle. We can double jump, fantastic. All right, I will grab all those things, thank you very much. And of course, I always grab the chest. I guess we can grab the picture. We can totally grab Guide Picasso. That's, um, I think that's stretching a little bit. When exactly call that Picasso. Okay, I need that. There we go. I don't know if we're ready to attack the blue jellyfish just yet. But since it's daytime, we should go up top and see if we can find our our workbench. So we can actually make like iron stuff. Probably not a lot of it, maybe an iron sword. It's gotta be better than our copper short sword. Like, why give me a short sword at the beginning? I place down wood. Okay, no wonder. That looked weird. Alright. Grab that thing, whatever the hell that is. Grab this thing, too. Let's make ourselves a kind of intermediary location here. All right, we need this to be... Well, we need a door. Probably not a wood. And uh, right now, we'll just have a little dirt hovel. Be fine. Doors are, I want to say, three blocks high. I might be making that up. All right, give me a workbench. Can I make a door from this workbench? Let's see. I can make bombs and sticky bombs. Door. There we go. Door. I can make a door. Wooden door. Great. I want one of those. Put it right there. Alright. 
And what else can I make here? I can make a anvil. Great, let's do that. Let's make me an anvil. Oh, I need an iron bars. Do I have iron? I, yes, that's right, because we did pick up some iron bars. Is there an iron bar for me? What is this? A great chains, iron doors, empty buckets, furnace. There we go. Okay, so now we should be able to make a whole bunch of nonsense. Um, let's see. So there's a bunch of cacti cactus sword. Cactus sword. Eight melee damage. Okay. I mean, it's better than the... Well, actually, the palm wood sword is exactly the same. Never mind. I was going to say it's better, but it's not. Palm wood chest. All right. Slimes can't go through doors, right? Cannot. Okay, good. Always good to check out. All right, iron bricks. No, no, no. We want iron ingots. Web rope. It's weird. Oh, campfire. This is important. We should make that campfire. Let's put it up top. There we go. Turn off that. Where do I... I thought it would be the furnace that we smelt ore, but I don't see that as an option here. What is this? Trap door. Interesting. I like the idea of a trap door. That's cool. Palmwood candle. Palmwood candelabra. Uh, maybe it's further down. Fishing pole we already made. Okay, wooden hammer nonsense. Cactus nonsense. Uh, there we go. Iron bars. Yes, please. Only seven of those, but that's okay. Because those should stack. So now we have 11. And 10 bars. Only have three. It's all right. With seven, hopefully that's enough to make a weapon, maybe? Iron sword sword. No, thank you. Broadsword. Here we go. Ten melee damage. That's better. Yes, please. I'll take that. Oh, godly. That's a nice upgrade. All right. That actually made it 11. Fantastic. Let's put down a chest. I have to reorganize our inventory at some point, but for right now, we're just going to drop a chest and put down anything inside of it. Almost anything at all. Like, I don't need to carry this stuff with me. Can I just... Does shift click work? Is that trash things? No, it just puts it inside of the inventory. Yeah, let's do that. We can put a box inside of a box. I'm sure that's not going to be confusing at all later. Grapefruit you can eat. I'm sure that'll be important at some point. Okay, I guess we do want to sum this up to stack, right? Like, iron ore, we want to make sure it stacks. Tin ore, same there. Um, I don't know what I need the day bloom for. I think that's good for potions, right? Cobwebs, gel, I suppose they should stack. All right, everything else we can leave as is. We can quick stack any time. Sorts automatically in that, I don't know, weapons first, I guess, and then potions. Okay, sure, why not? So quick stack will automatically move stuff down if it's already existing inside the chest. Cactus workbench. Don't see why you would want that. Almond workbench, tin brick. All right, let's make some more torches. That's the most important thing right now. Oh, I need more gel. I can do that, because I can go hunt some of these slimes they're wondering about. And with my new fancy sword... Oh, you don't need to click the doors anymore? Oh, that is so... That's a nice quality of life right there. Okay. I much I haven't played this in five years, because that should be obvious. Can't run from me, buddy. Oh, hello. You are a gnome. And you got terrified. Are you okay, dude? Okay, unclear what happened there. There for a minute he was going to attack me, but then he just petrified himself. I'm not sure what happened. All right, anyway. Hey there, blue slime. Come over here. You should be murdered. Yeah, that's it. Come over here and be murdered. Be murdered. There. We need a gravity potion or something to get up top, aren't we? Uh, yeah, double jump works, but I think to get to a secret island, yeah, I mean, unless you want to just chance it with a bunch of rope tricks, which I guess could work, too. If we get a bunch of vines, we could make rope, move our way up, and just kind of chance it. Supposedly there's a way to tell. Oh, uh, there used to be a way to tell. I guess I don't know if that's actually true anymore. There used to be a way to tell how, um, or where there was going to be a island above you. I don't remember what the criteria was exactly, but there was some way to tell. And I had like a good 
probably 80% success rate for it, but now I don't remember what it was. It's funny, I remember the success rate, I don't actually remember the technique. Oh, another desert. That actually could be good, there might be a pyramid on this one. Pyramid could have like a... I forget what, something cool. Um, there's a desert, oh there we go, okay, here we are. It's random trees all about. More cactus might be good, actually that's probably good for armor, right? Yeah, we saw that, okay, nope, never mind. It's sad that the palm trees are here, because it's actually just taking up valuable cactus space. Because, like, all these would be great spots for cacti. And sadly, the palm trees are here instead, so let's get rid of the palm trees. Nothing else, we probably use the wood. We need a better... What is it? What do we have right now? This is copper. This is a copper axe. We we'll probably get iron at some point. Oh, isn't Santa pain in the ass to dig through? I'm remembering vague things now. That's right, it like collapses in on itself or something. Okay, that's gonna be an issue. We'll figure out how to do it. Like there's, you have to like shore up your digging or something like that. I forgot exactly how to do it. You're not gonna get me, buddy. You're not gonna get me, only one gel? Come on, come on. Was this amateur hour? Yes, yes is the answer to that question. Well, I just want to make it to some kind of beach. Though, if it's corruption on both sides, that could be an issue. Uh, we have 268 of this. Let's put that up there. And just kind of walk across. Just don't want to go too fast, but it should be fine. I like the dragonflies, though. That's kind of cool. Oh, that's a... Hello there. I didn't even see you there. You have some friends, too. Oh, I'm doing a lot more damage. Oh, that's so much better. So much better than using my frickin' pickaxe. Alright, come on, guys. Oh, okay, he still got me. He still got me. It's alright. You need time the swipes. It's not just a random go. Eventually, we'll get some summons. We'll get some good stuff. It'll happen. It'll happen. Ooh. Um, Antlion? Yeah, Antlion. Okay. I remember you, Antlion. I remember you being a dick, and I don't remember why. Why are you a dick? Do you shoot at me or something? That sounds familiar. Oh, yep, 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 yep. He shoots at me. Okay. He shoots what at me? What is this? A sand block? Are you eating the sand and then spitting it at me? Is that what's going on here? All right. All right. Yep, okay, that hurts a little bit. But you know what? I can kill you before you can kill me. Antlion mandible. All right. It's going to be nighttime again, but I think with the iron sword, we'll be in a better spot. Though cactus armor, I'll be feel a little more comfortable with. Speaking of that. There we go. Um, yeah, let's just keep on building up. How far away can we put this? Can we, like, put them... We can't put them up there. If I can, like, stack this up. And then go that way. There you go. Oops. Can't let it get too far ahead of me, so I need to just pause her once in a while. And we're done with another desert. Okay, so no frickin' pyramids. It's unfortunate. Not unexpected. It, pyramids are no longer guaranteed, I know. They used to be. But no longer. Okay, so we're back in the forest. Let's uh, get some vines. We're gonna need these later. I missed time of my jumps, which is not great. There we go. Is there fall damage? I think there is, right? Above a certain height. That sounds familiar. Yeah, otherwise gravity potions wouldn't be so hazardous to use, right? Yeah, that sounds vaguely familiar. Okay. Um, these don't seem to be dropping vines, though. Am I not supposed to be dead with a sword? Oh, we have another desert, though. Okay, let's open up for our pyramid. I suppose we should also be grabbing as much cactus as we possibly can. There. That was worth 11. That's decent. We'll just get rid of all these and hope they get replaced by cacti. I keep thinking that, and I mentioned this, watching people play Don't Starve, I'm expecting there to be a horrible beast that comes out and says, You're chopping down too many trees! And maybe it's a thing. Maybe one of the bosses is totally relevant to that. I have no idea. But I want to stick around for a daytime event, or in front of, sorry, nighttime event, because we need mana stars for sure. 
The only way to get those is by hanging out at night. Should probably just set up a campfire and just call it. I mean, there might be corruption on this side. We already saw one corruption. I don't know if it's like only supposed to be on one side of the world or what. Um, let's make a campfire really quick. Do it there. Oh, um, yeah, my campfire went in my inventory. There you go. Okay, so that'll help me heal if I need it. Also provides light, which is also good. Okay, well, he hit me, but I hit him too, so there. Did he put down... I think the sand he spit just made a little bump or something. Oh, we got platinum ore? Nice. Actually, I think we need Platinum Ore. Platinum Ore is good. If we get more magic, I think Platinum Ore is very good because that lets us use a Diamond Staff, I think. I don't know, I've been glancing through the wiki. Whenever I get, like, ten minutes of work that, you know, I'm waiting for something to happen or waiting for someone else to respond to me or something. Flip onto the wiki, click that random page button, see what's up. All right. The fact that we have Platinum, I think, is a good sign. And just getting some random platinum ore, also pretty good. We could wander off. If I remember correctly, the luck mechanic says you don't want to place down torches in the desert. Because that's actually negative to your luck. You need, like, desert torches or something like that? I don't know how to make those. So was it with sand? Okay, sand does work that way. Okay, so we can mine directly into sand. What was the issue? Oh, that's the issue. That's right. It falls down. Okay. Right. Okay, now I now I kind of remember that. Okay. Uh, is that a duck? That's a greb? That frecks a greb. Are you a bad guy? No, he ran from me. It's a critter. Okay. All right, zombies, let's do this. No jumping. It's because I put myself in a hole, huh? It's probably not the greatest idea in the world. There we go. We just need to stay out here for a bit. Wait for those stars to fall. We can totally handle a night. It'll happen. It'll be great. Um, let's go ahead and put down some of those so that they walk straight and don't have a need to jump. Or don't feel like they need to jump. The regen effect should help me, I hope. Might also want to make a... Hmm, how am I going to do this? I'm thinking maybe I want to make a home... I kind of, like, restrict them to come home, like, in one direction. Let's do that. There, now they have to come in through this way. And that should buy me a little bit of time, hopefully. This guy has multiple hands. What's up with this guy? Okay, this could help you in that they'll only come from one direction. Maybe? I guess I could build a wall near the pool. That would also work. Yeah. Okay, guys, come over to me. There's nobody coming from the left right now, so I can handle you guys. This is how I get myself surrounded, right? I do this in roguelikes all the time. I think I've got everything handled, and then suddenly, whoosh, ruined. Alright, probably we should create another campfire. Let's do that. Campfire, here we go. Doing that. Put another campfire, like, say, here. Just give me some additional light. Good to go. Alright. He has a torch. Hey, do you know that torches are actually bad luck in the desert? I know. Hey, it's weird. You need a desert torch, though. It's a thing. Oh, Isaac Cthulhu, I totally forgot about you guys. Demonized, whatever you want to call yourselves. Okay, that is an issue. We also need life. Probably should have waited to get a life heart before I decided to go for nighttime, but you know what? The sword in and of itself should be fine. We'll see a star drop at some point. I just don't know what's going to happen. Guarding Shackle sounds cool. If the game paused when I hit escape, that'd be great, but it doesn't work that way. Actually, that might be a setting. I'll have to see if we can adjust that after, you know, all this nonsense is done. We do have a recall potion, too. We can always go back home if we absolutely need to. Whether or not that's going to be helpful is another thing entirely. You're going to drop gel, which I appreciate. I get you into a corner, you die, great. What is that? I think that's just goo or some kind of remnant. 
Oh, okay. Demon iron works fast. Got to know that. You look like a boned guy. I don't know why you called a zombie. Come up here, guys. I want to take you guys out. Maybe. Maybe not. Kind of busy with zombies right now. Yeah, they bounce quite the distance. Really just need to do a shit ton of damage to them, probably. What I'm not doing shit ton of damage to is these zombies. I uh, probably also jump to them. That could work. Yep, okay. Alright, lots of good through the eyes. Oh, they say demonize when I hover over them. I mean, that's what they actually are. What, what do we do? We get lenses from those. Why do we need lenses? Remember making sunglasses? That's probably not the main effect, though. Just a guess. There we go. Vacuum to a corner, you die. Great. Okay, night's half over. We're getting there. There we go. We might get rich this way. It could happen. Probably not very rich. It's only, you know, normal mode. Not even uh, difficult at this point. What's the difficulty mode when you kill the wall of flesh? I forget. Hard, hard, no, not hardcore. It's, um, not expert mode either. Hard mode? Okay, knock you away. Hi, Cthulhu, come up here. Yeah, get wrecked. Okay, we're gonna knock you guys all together into the corner here. There we go. Okay, well, it's a way to get lots of torches. That's good, too. Don't use them here, but... Come on up, guys. Enjoy my first night of murder. Come on. Night of murder. Come on. Want to be murdered? Of course you do. Come over here. I'm back into a corner so I can murder you properly. There you go. Oh, torch dude. Hey, guy. You're gonna have some bad time, my dude. Where are the freaking manas? Maybe it doesn't happen in the desert. Do we need to go to the forest? I, mean, I kind of don't want to move. Hold on. There's a light coming over there. That's got to be a star, right? Nope. It was a zombie who had a torch. Okay. Fair. I thought maybe it, since it was in the water, but no, no, no such a go. Okay. Hey, guys. You're going to be backed up. Don't worry about it. Ah, there it goes. That's what I'm looking for, is more of those. More fallen stars, please. Intrepid Shackle. Okay. Honestly, don't know what any of these mean. I know there's different stat boosts, depending, but... Is there another star? Star? I'm keeping things dark in the hopes that I just see stars, like that one right there. Of course, now it's really dark. Um, problem. Can't see. Not have my gamma turned up properly. Jump over these guys. They're dumb. You can do that. Okay, we just need to expand our visible area, maybe. That's maybe what it comes down to. Uh, maybe if I make another campsite over here. I mean, it's almost daytime, is a problem. So, any stars that are popped, I mean, two seems a little low for a nighttime exploration. It's getting really close to that daytime marker. I want to get any stars. Now's going to be the time. Zombie, just go away. I mean, not that I can see very well, but I know you're being a dick, all right? I can see well enough to see your asshole-ness, you know? It's actually not that hard to figure out. You... Do I want to be here? Oh, hell yes, I do. Well, the music changed. That indicates the night's over. Well, pretty much. These guys are still here. Okay. Well, this is a forest, so this should be fine to do. Let a recall potion right there. Okay, guys. Do you mind? Maybe the music changed because I'm no longer in the desert. Right, 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 right. Makes total sense. Every biome has its own music. Was I thinking? I was thinking that was a nighttime music, but it was actually nighttime desert music was different. Get over here, bud. Come on. Okay, there's got to be some good stuff in here. Oh, hell yeah. Hell to the yeah. What do we got? A book. 
Okay, last discretion of vine. Yes, vine art from vines. Yes, thank you. That's what I thought was gonna be happening by default, but I didn't realize we needed to book for it. Um, I should probably also get rid of this. There we go. Okay, so now we can get vine rope. Um, did I not actually? I didn't pop all this up. Um, let's see, rope. Recall potions like crazy. Iron scone. That's actually really good for boss. Okay, so now we can get vines. Yeah, there we go. Now we can get ropes. That's what I'm looking for. All the ropes, all the time. Thank you. Zombies, though, less so. Less so and more zombie thing. And so get ropes even when I cut them with a the sword. Fantastic. That was a... That was a star that just disappeared, wasn't it? I think it was. I think that star just disappeared and I didn't even pay attention to it. I was too busy being fascinated by ropes. Well, these things happen. It's okay. It's okay. We can build ourselves some platforms to get moving. We can actually touch the westward... Uh, the westward shore. That'd be cool. As a plant of some type, and I'm not sure what. Yep, it's definitely daytime, technically speaking. And this is more like... You know, stay up until like 4 a.m., this is what it looks like at 4 a.m. You've never done it? I can recommend you do it at least once. I can't recommend it, like, all the time. But just so you know what it's like to be up when everybody else is asleep. It's a, it's kind of a weird, kind of cool feeling. Up oh, corruption time. All right. And I can't say I'm surprised. Disappointed, but not surprised. Um, I know... Regular torches inside corruption are also bad, but what are you gonna do? Okay. I mean, it's probably a little bit too early for me to be here. I'm probably gonna get murdered again. The radar. Detects enemies around you. Sounds great. Let's do that. Torches, iron skin, rope. Right, okay. Grab it. Starting to fill up again. But I do need more gel. I initially came up here because I did need to make more torches, though now uh, not less so. Well, this is going to be tricky, right? Tricky but not impossible. They're better sword. This is, has a better chance of working. Although, they are going to try to grab me first here. Okay, let's just try this and see how bad this is going to be. Alright, this doesn't seem too bad. I mean, if I keep moving, they have a hard time. As long as I let them get their, uh, their momentum going... Oh, there are going to be a lot of them. All right, I want your loot, though. Don't just stand over a pit. I want your loot. Whatever that means. There you go. Get your loot. Get your loot. It's only money. Possibly because the, uh, the torches are the wrong type, so they're, they're actually going to hold me back. Squirrel, you're in a bad place, my friend. The corruption is here. And as far as I know, it's spreading. Yeah, the trouble is I want to be able to build stuff, but I don't think they're going to let me. I need a summon, probably, to make this work. Okay. We saw a living tree over this way, right? Wasn't that back towards the spawn? I'm sorry, I didn't even, even look in that. There we go. Well, you're going to follow me until I murder you, so you murdered. Okay. Living tree has a chance to have a summon staff thingabob, I think. Or something that could just help out. At the very least, we go back to the workbench and craft ourselves some cactus armor. And he's after. Can't say I'm surprised. Alright, you want to be murdered? We can arrange that. Get him before he has a chance to recover. Come on. Come on. Come on. There you go. No idea why he's so much of a hard on getting me murdered here. Like... I know I'm kind of like the interloper, but still. Seems like they would at least be... Ex well, maybe they're curious. Supposedly that's why polar bears attack people. Basically it's because to be a polar bear, it turns out, takes a shit ton of energy. And most animals investigate their curiosity by trying to eat it. So when a polar bear eats you, he's just trying to figure out what you are and whether or not you're actually going to be his meal for the day. So don't feel like, you know, he's trying to put you out. It's just, you know, polar bears doing what polar bears do. Alright, 
so I thought I saw... I guess it's over past this desert, right? It definitely is. I do like that we found the double jump. We need, like, a balloon or something to negate fall damage at some point, but we'll get there. Right now, the double jump is kind of negating my fall damage as long as I time it right. Nope. Watch your gel. Thank you. There might also be... Well, we should probably just go under underground for now. All right. Okay, vulture time. Sure. Let's do it. Okay, so it does seem like cactus will appear. Like, that's a brand new cactus right there, right? We just let that grow. We're good. Oh, we don't automatically step up. Good to know. thought maybe we'd automatically... I think we only do that for blocks. Uh, for, uh, for ground, I should say. thought we saw a living tree over here. Living tree of the big trees. Where the hell did that go? It must be over this direction. Oh, wait, we can click M, right? M from... Oh, there it is. It's a lot further back than I thought it was. That's okay. That'll give us a head start on going down, which is probably what we should do next. I should probably also build a bed. Because we're going to need to change our spawn point sometime. Though I'm kind of waiting until we get a grab potion. We explore some sky islands, get some proper... Get an actual proper base set up in the place we want it. Rather than just some random location. Like right now, it's just random. I was a little narrow. I could have taken some fall damage there. Here we go. Here's a living tree. Okay. The gnome's still here. Dude, what happened to you, my man? Okay, so... Okay, that was a little dangerous, but they do have platforms every so often. Right, let's see what's in here. Silver, alright. How about here? Leaf one consumes wood, places leaves. Interesting. Consumes wood, places living wood. Rope, iron bars, recall potion, torch, and silver coin. All right. Not grape, not horrible. What is this? Uh, put that down. Living loom. That sounds like a crafting table kind of thing. It must be. Okay, so living room. Cozy fire? How are we getting a cozy... Oh, because the... That's where we built down before. Okay. So the cozy fire was like all the way over there. Wow, the the range on that is huge. Okay, anyway. Living loom. Let's look at this. Used for special crafting. Like what, though? Uh, corrupt campfire we can make. Good to know. And torches. Let's see. Fine rope. Coils, web rope. I don't see anything for living. Oh, here we go. Living leaf wall, living wood wall, living wood chest, living wood door, living wood bathtub. Oh, lantern. Six wood and a torch for a living wood lantern. The one candle is four wood and torch. Okay, that's a lot of wood. Torch and three wood for a lamp. Candelabra is three torches. And then cactus nonsense. Okay. Um, so not that great. We're probably just gonna put that into a chest and file it away for later. Speaking of chest, probably go back and I guess we can use our one of our recoil potions for this. Though it's right there. That seems like a waste, right? It's right over there. Let's save a recall potion from when we're really deep down. Can I access the chest from here? Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, well, quick stack. And uh, I guess also drop all this other nonsense I don't need right now. I mean, the rope, maybe we need? What about the shackle? One defense, sure, why not? That's basically our last accessory item, though. From now, we need armor. At some point. Uh, keep the sand blocks for now. Keep the stone blocks. I'm gonna get hurt. It's rude. I was busy. Glad I can do this while my inventory is up, but I'm also kind of surprised. Oh, that's right, we're gonna check that. See if maybe we can change the settings. Let's see. Auto pause on, please. There we go. That's gotta be it. Smart doors enabled. Great. Activate set bonuses down. Or up. 
no idea what that means. Okay, but please tell me that means that... Just looking at the leaf. There we go. Okay, so things are paused when we press the escape button. Thank you. Simple freaking courtesy. All right. Star there. Lens. I don't know what they need that for. So she goes in there. All right. What? How many fallen stars do we need to make more mana? It's got to be in here, right? Oh, the fact that it's not in here yet. Let's go talk to the guide. He'll tell us, right? That's what the guide's supposed to be for. We can make flame arrows already. Torch and ten arrows. Oh, if we had ten arrows. Do we have ten arrows? Oh, we do. Arrows have just been sitting in our inventory the whole time. Okay. And Jester's arrows? Oh, Fallen Star. Makes 20 of them. That's decent. Okay, let's go talk to the guy and see what we need for the... Uh, for the mana. Because that seems like that's going to be pretty important. Hey, dude. What's up? Yeah, crafting. What do I need for this? Okay, so with Fallen Star, I'm making Magic Power Potion. Nightcrawler? Mana Potion. Configuration. Where the hell's the... Here we go. Mana Crystal. I need three of them. Okay. Can do. Star Cannon. Oh, that's right. It shoots stars. All right. Sunplay block, all right. Enchanted boomerang, we need a boomerang first, but I like boomerang weapons. Star and a bottle, increases the amount of regeneration when placed nearby. Didn't we pick up like 15 bottles or something like that? All right, we get enough stars. I mean, stars will happen throughout our playthrough, so we're gonna get a shit ton of stars. No worries about that. And a mana potion, or a super mana potion requires a greater mana potion. Crystal shards, unicorn horn, wow. Okay, no worries, man. Thank you, guide. Appreciate your help. All right, so we have to figure out how we're going to get past the Crimson. Or not the Crimson, the Corruption. On both sides of our map right now. It's funny they mark our previous death. Yeah, we're going to figure that out. Um, iron will help us. All right, we have the... Uh, we have some iron. Really, we have some cactus. That's probably at least better than nothing. Let's make at least a cactus iron armor set. At least as much as we can. Um, I put all my cactus in a box. Let's open that up. Where's my cactus at? Cactus, where are you? Uh, where's my cactus? Probably don't need the acorns. Put that away. The mushrooms away. Put the dirt blocks away. I mean, we're going to stack those to be fair, but... The hell did I put the cactus? I mean, the vine rope we should keep out. Uh, the regular rope we might need two. Wood fishing pole at some point. Oh, sorry, rotten chunks are from corruption. I mean, I guess we could hang up the Picasso. Iron bars. Where the heck did I keep the cactus in my inventory this whole time? I just didn't realize. No. I didn't use it, did I? Did I drop it? I mean, that sounds like me, but I don't remember. Oh, there it is. 125 cactus. There we go. Okay, 125 cactus. We should be able to build almost a complete set, right? Okay, so cactus stuff is going to be, like, way down here. There we go. Up. Oh, hold on. Hold on. You scrolled too far. Okay. Cactus breastplate. Um, one of these is social. One of these is active. I don't remember which is which. Active is probably this one here, right? One defense. Doesn't sound like a lot, but it's something. 25 for leggings. There you go. And then 20 for the helmet. There you go. Alright, we look weird, but it's at least some protection. And maybe the pickaxe will be better for melee damage. For melee, okay, it's the same. Okay, so we need iron for sure then. Which we don't really have a whole lot of. We have like 13 iron, that might be enough. How much iron do we have right now? We have 13 iron. The tin's probably not going to be good enough, but this should be good enough to make something here. We can make a pot. Or a trash can. Not exactly what I had in mind. Here we go. 
Iron pickaxe takes 12. Wow, it's basically everything. Fuck it, do it. I mean, we're gonna upgrade at some point. Might as well just upgrade now. All right, I'm gonna put junk, like this expired stuff that we're never gonna touch again. Actually, should I just trash? No, we might need to sell it. Yeah, don't don't just trash anything. Always always sell. So let's put a chest. Sorry, put it up there and then up here. How's this work? I want a chest, please, that I can place. Let's put it there and then there we go. All right, so that's my garbage chest right now. But can we relabel these? We probably can, right? I would like to rename this chest. Ah, there's the name. Okay. Garbage. If I can spell it correctly. I'm mean, really, it would be a trash can, but that takes a shit ton of iron. I'm just not going to do it. Okay, so this is a garbage chest. So we're going to throw all of our garbage. A regular chest. We haven't named yet. It's just called chest. It's just stuff. We're not even going to name stuff right now. Okay, just quick stack what you can. Put the cactus back. We probably don't need more cactus right now. Gel is good. Iron is good. Deep bloom seeds we don't need right now. Sand block I'm hoping we don't need right now. Iron we don't need. Rope we might need. Okay, the rest of the stuff we should be fine. So, sort them please. There we go. And let's just continue this path down. We got some armor, that's something. Taking a nice, safe way down. I suppose we could... There might be more in the living tree. There could be, actually. Let's go over there. Might as well make a pass over between these two. That could be useful later. Uh, give me the smart cursor and let's burn our way through here. At some point, social slot's going to be a thing. It's just not yet. Two enemies nearby. I do kind of like the radar. I'm going to combine that with something else. I forget what it is. Hunter Potion will also be good. At some point, Mimic should be going to be a thing, and we're going to be careful of that, but not yet. There. I'm going to need to work out all the finger placements. Right now, my finger placement is still WASD, and I need to, like, prioritize numeric. I think that's how that's going to work. We'll figure it out. I mean, it could be this living tree doesn't go very far. But at least it makes it enough to dig that terribly far on my own. Um, the, you're gonna, nope, torch did not stay there. Don't know why I'm surprised. There. Oh, bad guy. Oh, hello there, gnome. Why? Oh, maybe it's daytime. Gnomes can't survive in the daylight? Is that what's going on? Shit, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die to this gnome. Yep, the gnome killed me. I mean, I probably could have just killed him. For some reason, though, I think that that would give me bad luck. I don't know why I think that. It's okay. At this point in the game, money loss is not a big deal. Dying is not a huge deal. It's okay. We'll make it through. But it does mean... I mean, do we just kill the gnomes then? I need to do it, but maybe. Okay, let's get our... Oh, okay, I'm in the dark now. I just want to grab... There we go. Got that. I mean, it could be the gnomes just going to give up after this. I mean, it seems unlikely, but it could happen. That looks interesting. What is this? Do I worry about no okay it's just a place for stone I guess it's not a real alcove I don't think yeah just like it's stone and who knows what else over here all right nothing too interesting don't worry about it that is a drop and a half my friend um rope sure do rope if I build rope down nice safe way to go all right that wasn't so bad. This is also a nice way to get back up. I had no idea where that gnome went, but he's a jerk anyway, so I don't really care. Can I put a thing over here? There we go. Alright. Oh, that was it! Trap. <laughs> I saw it happen. 
I saw it happen. I saw the... I saw the trigger go down and I'm all, oh, that's bad. Yep. Yep. Yep, yep. I think boulders do like 300 damage, so even if we had like a full stack, I don't even know if it's survivable. I think traps are always lethal, right? We got one gold from that guy. Nice. All right. All right. Take three. I mean, this might actually be like take seven, but let's ignore semantics for now. Which, I'm be honest, is pretty rare for me to say. All right. So be careful of traps. Traps are a thing. And we knew traps were a thing, but you know, just so you continue to know, traps are a thing. Though the triggers are hard to spot, to be fair. So what is this? Silver ore. Okay, cool. I will take all that you possibly can spare. Thank you. Also, apparently, put myself in the dark. There. All right. And that's all the silver ore. Just wondering about. And I yeah, definitely want that. Yeah, just some money. Okay, let's dig to the east right now. I'm gonna have a heck of a time getting back up. Though the cloud in the bottle will help. Let's go, say, 10 or 20 blocks. We're gonna encounter something. Oh, okay, I was right. We did encounter something. A whole river. What that was. Uh, grab that torch. And this doesn't seem that hard to go through, right? We just go through here, and yeah, there's a spot right up this way. We could have just gone over. Oh, and lots of spider webs. That could be good. That's a way to make silk, right? It's not a way to make a bed. You need all the spider webs? Yeah, but I need a better way to get up there. Alright, well, simple way that's available to me right now is gonna be um, turning smart cursor off, and doing that. Although, now I need a better way to do that. Okay, bounce. There we go. Not probably swiped it. There we go. That did it. Okay. Let's move more to the east here. I want to go that way. Okay, smart cursor on. Let's go. We need all the stone. How much stone do we have right now? That's a good question. How much do we have? We have 159. That's not very much at all. We need, like, 17,000 times that. Well, fortunately, we're in a big world. Um, I should probably should do that, right? I should probably put the... Yeah, let's put that up. So if we do get watered out again... That's a word. I'm calling it a word right now. It's totally a word. Watered out. It's a thing. If we get watered out again, um, we can um, still get light. Get down a little bit. There is something down here. Hello. Huh. Not a whole lot, though. Let's keep going down here. Well, the iron pickaxe is definitely better. I'm glad I invested it. It's a good investment. Uh, let's go this way. Is that it? Sorry, was that glowing there for a minute? What is that? Blink root. Sounds familiar. Don't remember what it's for. We ask the guide later. Yeah, there is a pit there. I'm kind of tempted, but there doesn't seem to be anything inside of it, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. If there was a heart container or something, I'd totally go for it, but there isn't. We'll be able to see it. There is, however, this over here, which has nothing. What is this? I can't... Oh, there we go. Teal Musher. Okay. It looks like we have some jade or something up here. Emeralds. Okay, emeralds are good. With emerald plus something, we should be able to make a... Oh, I forget. We can ask the guide. Some kind of staff. That might not be enough emeralds, though. Oh, we have shiny, shiny stuff down here. What's the shiny? This is silver. Silver's good for platinum, but we're probably not deep enough for that yet. Okay, well, we no, can no longer see the surface on the mini-map. 
it's progress of a sort. Let's dig down for a little while. Cloud in the bottle kind of makes it dig down. A lot more negotiable. Plus the platforms. Okay, we're probably going to encounter something here. Oh, hello, slime. I do need some more gels. Thank you for volunteering. That's a red slime. Let's wait for him to come down to me. Red slime, do you want to come over here? I prefer to have you in an enclosed area rather than trying to talk to you wherever the hell you are right now. Oh, okay. Yeah, see, that's why. It's only worth 12 copper? Alright, he wasn't that bad. I just hadn't seen a red one before, but I guess they're all different colors of the rainbow. Yeah, I'm not worried about going to that pit over there. Let's go down a little bit more. There. And down we go. At some point, we're going to get a glow item, and we'll never have to play sources again, and it'll be great. That's going to be a while away, though. this way. Don't want to go too far down. Still want to kind of keep our zigzag going. So we do want to climb all the way back up. Oh, we got ourselves a monster. I hear you. I hear you. Yep, and I see you. Only two damage there. Where you at? Oh, gotcha. That did hurt a little bit. We're okay. Uh, let's get down. Those guys are going to be more and more common, no doubt. We still haven't reached the point where it's all stone. I thought that was a point of some... Oh, what's this? Dirt still, okay. It's a weird side passage. I don't entirely understand. Okay, definitely easier than me digging all the way through. Though, definitely more dangerous. Alright, I don't see too much nonsense here. Wow, whoop de doo, frickin' 88 copper. Hold me back. Danger sense potion. I mean, really, my danger sense is going off pretty much every second I play this game, so I'm not sure how useful that actually is. Is that blink root? It is blink root, great. Okay, cool little waterfall effect. Some more ore, which I will totally pick up, because I think it's iron. Is iron. Great. Okay, for some reason the smart cursor was not toggling. It was very strange. Might as well get some stone, too, because, like I said, we're going to need, like, 17,000 of this stuff. Alright. Where are we going? There is a cool-looking tree over there. Oh, wait a minute. There was also something up here. What is that? Might be diamonds. Might not be, but it might be. Build our way over to it. Um, this will do here. Yeah, staircase there is totally fine. Okay, what do we got? It is diamonds. Good, good, good. We need diamonds. Uh, put you there. No more diamonds. And we only got a few. It's all right. It's all right. And that's silver right there as well. All right, what? What if I can knock down this tree? Probably like a crystal tree of some sort? No idea. That slime, though, is going to be a problem, though, isn't he? Maybe not. Red slime's going to go down. Oh, yeah, the yellow slime is definitely a big boy. You hurt me. Not too bad. Over here, big guy. Come on, one more time. There you go. Nicely done. All right. Okay. Can I knock down this tree? Pickaxe has nothing, not surprising. How about the chip hacks? It's a slow chop. It doesn't make it. There we go. Oh, we got a diamond out of it and some stone blocks. Was this a stone tree? Be weird, but not unexpected, I suppose. That's not where I wanted that to be. I want it to be right below it. Smart cursor, you're not helping me right now. Here, help me mine this, smart cursor. There we go. Silver ore. Good stuff. No idea if silver. I mean, silver arrows are probably a thing, but, like, silver armor would seem pretty bad. Even a silver arrow has got to be mixed with something as a proper alloy. Alright, that looks like tin. I don't know how good tin is. I guess some things you just have to look at the wiki for. Or we can ask the guide. 
Aren't bats also a thing? Should I be worried about bats yet? Seems like bats might be a thing to be worried about. I'm gonna dive down here and let the red guy hit me for a bit. Or I just hit him for free, I suppose. That also works. Um, let's build across this just to be on the safe side. We could just swim across it or whatever, but that seems like a bad idea. Seems like this might be the safer option, but it does eat a lot of wood. There's a lot of trees upstairs. We can do this. Although I'm starting to run out of platforms already. We're going to have to go up. We have recall potions. We can work with that. Well. Seems simple enough. I don't use a rope. We have a lot of rope. Just so I can get back up a little bit easier if I need to. Oh, shit. Um, no, it's fine. It's fine. Um, any danger of drowning? I don't know what you're talking about. That sounds like crazy talk. Sounds like the words of a man who'd be very, very afraid. And that's obviously not me. Don't know what you're talking about. It's weird. Jellyfish are cool. But I can't see in the water just yet. Though I think killing jellyfish actually helps me with that. But if we have an alternate path that doesn't involve jellyfish... Ooh, it leads right to a heart. Why don't we go ahead and do that? Go, life crystal for me. Nope, you don't get to kill me today. Sorry, that's not how this works. That's not how it works. Mining potion. Um, probably a good idea. I haven't actually used any of those yet. If we get bones from these, what does this do? It's nothing. Nothing. It's just decorative. I heard a squeak. Unclear what that was. Probably a mouse. Are mice dangerous? They're probably just critters, right? Night Owl Potion. That probably will help me see in the dark, which there is a lot of dark down here. Nope. Okay, I thought for sure I was going to take damage there, and we did not. So the range on fall damage is a lot more forgiving than I remember. That's good. That is definitely a rat. Okay, I would like to mine all this good stuff. Really, guys? Can you come with me now? Can you come with me now? Alright. Alright. Don't have problems with that. We can make this work. Yeah, come over to me. Great, thank you. Do that again. Then one more time. One more time. Maybe one more. Like that. There we go. Thank you. Very accommodating slimes. Don't expect the king slime to be nearly as accommodating. I would love to find a gravity potion, but I don't know if I can expect one to find find one here. What we might have to do is just go hunting. Um, by that I mean we're going to have to use like a rope and just go exploring the top level and just see what we can do. We could also build a sky bridge. Haven't done that in forever. If we do build at the proper height, we should be able to find pretty much all of the sky islands. Assuming there aren't. I guess it's possible to general world without one, though I don't think that's ever happened. seen anything huge yet. We're not that deep, though. If you look at the world, yeah, barely even down past the mantle, really. We're nowhere near hell. It's gonna be a while until we are, too. We're gonna get some big worms before we get to near hell. Probably get some good stuff, though. Let's keep on following these and see what we can get. Another blink root. It is. And we got some seeds, too. Oh, uh, there are bats. Okay, I didn't remember that properly. That maybe I was confusing with a Spelunky there for some reason. I was not, though. There are definitely bats. And big old gaps are going to be tough to get back on. What? Is that gold? That looks like gold. There's gold in the Narhills. Oh, and also skellies. There's skellies in the Narhills. And slimes of doom. It's okay. Just small amounts of doom. Um, I do have a potion. I would. Oh, we also have Life Crystal. I think I need to actually hold that to use it. Yep, there we go. And did heal me. That's great. Um, let's put you there. That's not where I want that. There. Alright, so mine out here and get where we need to be. Alright, that looks like a skeleton zombie type of thing. Who are you, my dude? Yep, he's a skelly. Okay. This is gold, though. Gold is good. I like gold. 
I'm less fan of the things that got me down here, though. Okay, well, if he gets stuck in the water... He's not going to get stuck in the water. So much for that. I was going to say I'd be fine with it, which I totally would be. Did he set off that trap, or was that me? I think he did, right? Oh, okay. Um, that trap reset itself, which I was not expecting. On the upside, the game does set a nice, friendly-looking X on the place where we died. Okay, I have a couple of questions for you, guide my friend. I have a question about this diamond. What can I do with the diamond? I can make a diamond stone block. That seems like a waste, to be honest. That is a total waste of a diamond. I can make a white phase blade with meteor. Okay, basically it's a lightsaber. I mean, I can't say no to a lightsaber. A gem lock. Stone block and diamond. Why would I want a lock? Okay. Make a large diamond with 15 smaller diamonds. That's not how diamonds work, but it's a magical world. We'll just accept it. Diamond hook. Diamond staff. Platinum bar. Ten of those and eight diamonds. Okay, we need five more diamonds, but that could be a good... Eight mana. We need a hell of a lot more mana, but that could do it. Diamond toilet. <laughs> Diamond gem corn? Can be placed. It probably makes the diamond tree. That's probably what I was seeing down there. It's probably a diamond tree. It only takes one diamond and one acorn to make a gem corn. Required objects, none. So I can just make this and make a diamond tree? I mean, if that's a replenishable way to make diamonds, that might be a pretty good idea. And a white torch, which seems like a waste of a diamond. Wait a minute, a white torch? No, ten white torches, okay. Diamond row, which is for mana. Gem spark block, I couldn't tell you. It might just be decorative. Okay, well, gem corn, can I just make that? Can't seem to make that with the guide here, but... Okay, let's go down to... I don't see gem corn as available options here. The rope coil. I don't see gem corn. He said it could be done anywhere. You lie to me, no, I did? You didn't lie. You wouldn't lie to me, would you? That'd be absurd. Why would you lie to me? You're supposed to be my guide. A uh, required object loom. Oh wait, that's for the diamond rod. What about the gem corn? It says none. It says none. So I would think it'd be replaced. It'd be done by hand, but maybe it requires the workbench. I mean, it seems like a magical thing. It seems like you would need to do that with... I don't know, whatever the heck a magical workbench would be. So this workbench in and of itself is already pretty magical. Okay, I have the diamond here. I would like to use it. Gold brick seems a little silly. Bunch of nonsense in here. Fishing we'd like to do. We do have a couple of spots where we could do go fishing. Wooden yo-yo. Remember the yo-yo is being pretty powerful. Armor statue. I mean, sure. Give me some silver bars. Get me some gold bars. We make a silver bow. And a candle. Just a gold bar and a torch. Interesting. Silver short sword is worse than my iron, but only because it's godly. No, that's about equal. Now we'll get a hammer instead. Hammer knocks back stuff. That's pretty good. Uh, yeah, more iron bars, please. Don't have very much iron, but as much as I can get. I don't see the acorn. I don't see the gem corn, where the hell the thing is. Maybe it's a hard mode thing? It's funny it wouldn't just tell me that, though. We make minecart tracks. That's cool. Can't actually make a minecart yet, but eventually. Right, make me some more torches. Um, I don't even see... Oh, there we go. And some more platforms would be spiffy keen. We have a lot of wood. There. That'll do for a while. And wood we can... Okay, we can convert wooden platforms back again. That's nice. Do we wait here for nighttime? I can't even tell what time of day it is right now. Well, we would be able to if we had the item, right? Isn't there an item, like a clock or something we can get? Eventually, at some point. 
Okay, well, maybe we go back down to our dead body and see what we can do. We should be able to recover. I think the yo-yo is pretty neat. Cobweb and wood. I mean, it seems pretty basic. But it'd be a nice way to keep guys at bay. Let's do it. Okay, we're gonna need another... I mean, right now I'm just putting down chests anywhere. Maybe we need, like, a better organizational system. It's possible. I don't know what, though. Now, right now, that was not top of my mind, but I was thinking, like, what I'm gonna be doing today. Organizing my inventory was not on the list. Probably should have been, though. Oh, you know what? I can't place these when it's paused. That's what's the issue. Okay. Fair, fair, fair. Okay. We, we don't want to throw anything away right now, so I think we just quick stack what we can. And then that means nothing else is in here that we want to stack with these. Um, sort these again. It's funny, the sort organizes them some way. I guess we want the tin bars out and the iron bars out. Sort again. And the reason why I want those out instead of in here. Oh, oh, that's a mana ball. I thought for a minute there was a boomerang. I was going to be really excited. It looked like a boomerang. Also, we're a little far away. Can we zoom in a little bit? Should be a way to zoom in. How do we zoom in? Alt? Nope. Oh, it is nighttime. Is this blood rain? It seems red is the only reason why I ask. Can I get your umbrella hat? It's a cool hat. I want it. He didn't drop his umbrella hat. Rude. Okay, well, it is nighttime. Mana stars might drop if I keep going this way. Go for it. I don't know if it is actually nighttime, but it's got to be close enough. One of these guys is going to drop their umbrella hat. It's going to happen. I know it's very dark. It's going to get darker. That's how it goes. This is one enemy nearby. My guess is downstairs. Unfortunately, we're bordered by corruption, so it's going to be a bit where we can actually go that way. Though, cactus armor will help us a little bit. We have, what, like three total defense? Not a lot, but something. Oh, did I drop the rest of my inventory off? I did not, because I'm a big dummy dummy head who's dumb. Okay, let's go back over and drop off the inventory before we get too far. Too aggressive. It's okay. We'll get there. The flying fish are kind of cool. Actually, I remember them being existing before, don't they? Didn't they exist? Like, yeah, they kind of seem familiar now. They're getting tons of cash. We start making, like, real homes. We'll get the merchant in no time. I've kind of stopped myself from doing that because I want Sky Island to have to happen. I wonder what the actual... Because it could have been below the sunflowers. I could just build up and we can just make a sky bridge. Let's do that. It's probably a safer way to uh, to explore anyway. I mean, the corruption is still going to be an issue, but... Yeah, let's go back over where the guy is. Because that's the respawn point, right? And then we'll just build up from there and see what happens. Okay, so God, I'm going to take you as our spawn point here. I'm just going to build the rope up. Can I do that? I thought I could build the rope up. Oh, you mean to need to actually... Okay, it's fine. Oh, we have the step ladder. It's a pretty ridiculous item. Oh, the walking fish is good. Okay, I think we need to wait until a scenery change in the background before we're high enough for Sky Islands, but I forget exactly what, I forget exactly what it is. It might be around here. It might be fine. I don't know, I'm still building up just because... Okay, we used like a hundred something ropes. That should be sufficient. We're gonna go to the west. Now, whatever you do, don't press down. Because that's gonna be very, very bad for me. Uh, we just need to make sure we put in a... Occasional drops. Yeah, there we go. Like, I can walk over these... But we need to make sure that there's still room for stuff to fall through, just in case. Uh, Torch is probably not a bad idea, either. Every once in a while. 
I mean, we're gonna need to make a boss arena at some point, so like we could do this as our starting point for the boss arena. Is that go and find the first guy island? Whether or not 300 platforms is gonna be enough to get there, I have no idea, but we could always go back, make holes as necessary, extend that 300 as long as possible. This might not be high enough though, I might be shortchanging myself. Although supposedly rain's a good. Oh shit. I'm dead. <laughs> rain's a good way to, to tell though. Rain's a great way to tell because the rain won't go past the Skyland at a certain point. Oh, I'm good. It's right here. One of the reasons why I did that. Um, I should probably go over and get my items. That didn't last very long, did I? I have to get my money. That matters too greatly, but yeah, the whole gold, it's not bad. I'm picking up the gravestones because I know graveyard is now a biome. If you have a lot of gravestones in one area, it turns everything gray, which is fun and all, but I think it also stops other stuff from spawning, so. I mean, we'll probably move our gravestones at some point. I mean, I did delete my first gravestone, but so it goes. Now if we can doubt if I'm high enough. I hope so. At the very least, I'm hoping to be able to tell whether or not the rain moves from me or not. Uh, looks like we added steps. I did not mean to do steps. It's fine. You just keep the steps there. Try to keep it ahead of me. The problem is I was just walking too far ahead. Yeah, we're going to run out pretty soon. It's fine. I expect it. We have to chop down more trees. We can do that. Keep making steps when I don't mean to be. I'm also not making the torches uh, in the right type, I believe. I had a scenery change. That was weird. Unclear why. It might be... Might have been going over the desert. It's hard to tell. If we get to the corruption, we could have a problem, though. I can't tell. The rain is unfortunately not bright enough in this darkness. We're going to be fighting a lot of bad guys up here. It's going to happen. And a lot of demon eyes and whatnot. On the upside, it makes it really easy to take these guys out. As long as I don't do anything too stupid. I mean, that's arguable. Yeah, we're going to run our platforms pretty soon. Well, I expected that. It's okay. Could jump to our doom again. Seems like a waste to just get more platforms, but oh, chat. Okay, okay, don't pause now. Hoo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> and that's what we call a pro game remove. I was, I was choked up there for a minute. It was just so beautiful. Actually, no, I just forgot how to like breathe for a minute. Okay, we're good. We're good. It's a little scary. A little scary, but we did it. We're okay. Okay, so we need more platforms. No big deal. We can totally get more of those. Just had to... Had to breathe there for a second. We should also probably be planting those acorns, right? And we should be planting more trees. Until I get an idea of what exactly I want, we should just go ahead and plant the trees here. Um, bombs are enchanting. Where the hell did the acorns go? I'm losing everything. I'm losing my mind. Losing my soul. Losing my religion. Are acorns actually in my inventory right now? No, they're not. That'd be way too easy. Not a wall potion. Diamonds. I mean, ideally, I'm hoping we're eventually going to get uh, mana stars. Plank roots down there, plank root seeds as well. Old or I guess, and stay. The vine ropes we don't need right now. And I don't push it over there. Not a great sort, but what are you gonna do? Okay. Yeah, I'd rather not use a torch though, because again, I know it affects our luck. Though in the forest, it doesn't actually matter. I believe this is the forest here. Uh, campfire is still better, though. So, oh, don't I have any? Oh, here we go. Campfire. 
Campfire does not affect our luck one way or the other. And that's really the only reason why it's better. There. Um, oh, that was the guide. I thought for some some reason one of the bad guys was shooting arrows at me. I'm like, what the hell, dude? No, it's the guide. Trying to help me out. Scaring the hell out of me, but helping me out nonetheless. It's really dark right now. It's fine. I mean, rain is a great opportunity. Unfortunately, I'm going to be wasting it, I think. I mean, I guess in the daytime it could be better. Right now, though, I should probably get moving for mana potions. Just need all the platforms, so I'm going to chop down all the trees. I mean, it is still technically daytime because there's no zombies. But this is going to be... I should probably up my gamma. It's gonna take me a bit to knock down all these trees. I guess I can just keep on building campfires, but the campfires cost 10 wood each. That seems a little ex- yeah, it doesn't seem right. So that's gonna cost me more wood during the long term. I mean, we could just do a deforestation project. That could totally be a thing. But I'd rather not. Poor trees. I mean, I suppose if we replant, eventually we'll, everything will recover, but how long will that take? Will the corruption, in fact, take over? Well, okay, not actually from here, though. The sunflowers will protect us from that. I suppose I could transplant these sunflowers and make sure the corruption doesn't spread. Huh, that's a thought. Yeah, that is a thought. Um, how do we dig up these guys? There we go. Okay, so I have a sunflower. I need to take it to the corruption. Unfortunately, it's very dark. How much is dark? That's a zombie, isn't it? That is a zombie. That's what it said. Okay, now we're at zombie time. Ooh, raincoat. I have your raincoat, sir. I mean, a simple yes or no would do. Probably trash now, right? No. Okay, so I do want to move the sunflower over to where the corruption is. Now, at nighttime, probably not the best idea, but also a good way to find mana stars. They'll be the most bright things out here. Like that, right there. There we go. More mana for me. I'm gonna have to hop over these zombies that I can barely see. I'm tempted to shut off the lights in my office here to see if I can maybe see a little bit better. Actually, let me just... It's probably why escape is not supposed to pause the game, right? I got right in the dark. Probably not the best content either. Wow, it is super dark. It is super incredibly dark. Even with my gamma raised really high, but it's better than it was for me anyway. But that's what nighttime excursions are like sometimes. You just gotta go out in the dark, see what you can get. The mana stars might not have landed as much as I'd like. And we pick up, okay, we're at four, that's something. I saw you zombie before it turned all dark. Okay, we're just gonna be jumping around. Really, I should probably knock down all the trees in the desert, because those are taking valuable cactus space. But I suppose I can start planting acorns too. This eye, this demon eye, is really keeping pace in the air. Day bloom. Strangely enough, not during the day. I wonder if corruption is less active at night? It doesn't make any sense now that I say it out loud, but who knows? It could happen. I mean, it seems pretty unlikely. Alright, we had another campfire over here. I remember this. I and mean, we also have a pretty good potential fishing spot here, too. Are you done? Be gone. Nobody likes you. There we go. Imagine that being the last thing you hear from somebody. Nobody likes you, and that's just it. Oblivion after that. This guy is bouncing all over the place. Get away from your raincoat, zombie. I mean, I want your rain hat. Don't get me wrong, but I'm busy. Well, I mean, I'm not really busy busy, but I'm busy being busy. 
busy pretending to be busy? It's one of those. Okay, so corruption was here. Where exactly was that corruption at? I thought it was around here. It was just past this. It wasn't very far past this, though. Oh, we didn't make it very far past this. Oh, it stopped raining. So we're now back down to raid the zombies. Okay, here's the corruption here. So actually, I probably should have brought two sunflowers. Yeah, I wasn't thinking that. Thinking that clearly. Okay, so we need to chop down like this tree here. Put down the sunflower. That'll stop the corruption. Well, stop it from. Oh, get away from me, dude. I was not expecting one of those worm guys to show up here. Corruption guys, I suppose, should have been obvious. Did I knock you? No. Okay. Well, really, it seems like killing the corruption guys here would have actually spread the corruption, but what do I know? Yeah, okay. I need a better sword for sure. Ha, you almost got me there. You almost got me there. You didn't, though. You almost did, though. Okay. Granted, he did get me there. Uh, the yo-yo is probably a good bet here, but it doesn't matter too much. Okay, Sunflower. I would like you... Um, here, please. There. Actually, use a little bit of light. I totally did not realize that. I'll grab the... I can't grab the moon. Okay, I was expecting, like, in the title sequence, being able to grab the moon. Can't do it. Okay, so that'll halt... Well, it'll slow down the corruption. I don't know if it'll actually halt it. Hopefully it'll also spread. If I chop down some of these trees, we might have that possibility. And I do need the wood anyway. Unfortunately, the corruption being there means those guys are going to pop up on the regular. Wish I knew how to determine... Well, I guess I could look it up. There's got to be something on how to determine where the islands are. At least the old posts that I had referenced back in, you know, 2015? What have I even looked up in 2015? I mean, Google was still around. That was a thing. But was Reddit around? Reddit was around 2015, right? I wasn't a Redditor in 2015. Like, I didn't go on Reddit at all, so I don't think it was, but I don't know. I don't pay attention to when things happen. I only pay attention to when I use them. I'm like, when was power steering invented? Fuck if I know, but I use that every fucking day that I drive. You know, it's the same idea. When was the internet invented? Fuck if I know, but I use that every day. Literally every day. Now, I should probably switch over to the yo-yo, right? It's probably safer. Okay, we're gonna try... We're gonna try yo-yo time. Uh, maybe I can just switch that over. Maybe this is my four slot? Okay. At least that way it's a nice simple toggle with my mouse wheel. Hopefully that makes it easier for me to remember to do it. Well, it's a nice simple toggle if I'm chopping trees. I suppose it's not necessarily if I'm doing anything else. What I need is a... Is a hammock actually a thing? Not a hammer axe, a, um, it's a combination of pickaxe, hammer, and axe. That should be a thing. The thing in Minecraft is that, now that actually might be, it might be a mod that does that. That might not be actual, like, vanilla Minecraft, which I haven't played since, oh, hell, I don't even know. Oh, but he is on me, nice. Did I get a banner? I did get a banner. What banners do? Do they give you more damage against the zombies? That sounds right. Yeah, I've been kicking out a lot of zombies lately. Get knocked. Fallen star. Oh, good. Yeah, that's right. I was looking for those, wasn't I? <laughs> totally forgot. Totally forgot that's what I was doing here. Could also fish. I don't know if we need to do... Oh, you know what? Fishing's probably going to give us a decent... Doesn't that give us a decent weapon? Decent weapon or a decent axe or something like that? I forget what it is. Man, all these half-remembered things that probably aren't even things anymore. Like, I don't know what's been patched out or what. Okay, you get knocked. Get away from me. You're so 
not in daytime yet? I was like, you use a recall push and get back, but it seems like a waste. Okay, run the corruption. I'm gonna try just going through it, just powering. And if we, oh, that's right. There's, there's thorns and stuff in here. I think we can do it. I think we can do it. I believe. I believe in the power of cheese. And if this isn't cheese, I don't know what it is. Ah, shit. Okay, it's not great. I'll admit. Um, also not good. I made it. It's the important thing. Not dead yet. It's very close. It's going to be very close. Yeah, it's going to kill me. <laughs> wow, so much for the power of belief. That didn't do anything. Power of belief turns out is bullshit. Um, I also didn't switch over to my yo-yo, which might have helped a little bit. Okay, we have 786 wood. That's good for a lot of... Uh, yeah, a lot of platforms. We're gonna need a shit ton. That might actually be the real measurement. Okay. There we go. Can I just eat this? Is that what this is for? What does this do? I ate it. Well fed. Minor improvement to all stats. Okay. What if? Um, all right, night time is over. We can tell that because, you know, zombies are gone. I suppose we could go to the east. I feel like I'm not high enough. I feel like I need to be higher. I don't know why. Well, enemies nearby. It seems like if I get, like, at the cloud layer... Here, that seems more likely to be Cloud Islands. Sky Islands, whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to drop... We're going to go this way. Uh, try not to take any stairs. Can I just pick those back up? Apparently not. Why can't I pick these back up? Does that require a hammer? What needs to be happening here? There we go. Okay, that works. Alright. Onward, Christian soldier. Onward. And this is only just above where I need to be, but I'll take it. Like, this is only barely in the cloud level, but I can go up further from here if I need to. I have more rope. I really just want a cloud island, though. Man, it's going to be a pain to recover all these platforms. Well, cloud island theoretically will have something to help with fall damage, right? Theoretically, not necessarily guaranteed, but it's possible. I really wish I could do this at walking walking pace, though. There is an item, I think, that actually helps with placement, but I forget what it is. Oh, that's going to take me a bit. Oh, do I have enough, uh, I have enough fallen stars to actually a little bit more mana? Not that I have anything that uses mana yet, but it's going to happen. And I'm glad I left this marker to run. I keep missing my strats. Actually, if I just hold... Oh, nope, that puts me upwards. All right, don't do that. Yeah, jump up every once in a while just to test the test the water, so to speak. Oh, I like the I like the balloon in the distance. That indicates there's other peoples on the island, which I guess is... I guess we already knew that, right? There are the NPCs. But it kind of... Kind of indicates, like, there's civilization or something. It's weird. Oh, here we go. Sky Island. Huzzah! Just had to keep going this direction. Okay. What do we got? Got ourselves a chest. Well, this looks like a cool area for a base. I'm totally on board with this. This could work. Um, let's see how this lines up on the map. Okay, we've been this far. Beyond this is corruption. So that could be an issue, but issue for later. What is that symbol over there? Spawn. Oh, that's my spawn point. Spawn. Okay. Oh, hello, guys. Hello, guys. Turns out, didn't realize that the, uh... Oh, shit, they threw us. I finally got they threw those. Turns out, pause does not count for, uh... For map. Okay, so what do we got? Recall potion, gills potion, and a balloon. Increases jump height. 
shit, but does not actually prevent fall damage. Still, plus 2% new move speed isn't bad. Um, let's get rid of this step stool because it's garbage. Um, I guess we'll sell it or something. All right. Shining balloon at the very least. I think we combine these two, right? Cloud in a bottle and balloon. I thought we could do something with those. I'm well, look. Might be the lucky horseshoe I'm thinking of. All right, let's loot all this stuff. Let's drop this in the trash. Don't need the gravestone. Teal mushroom makes teal die. Do not care. Okay, but this looks like a pretty good place for a base. If we can just get rid of the harpies, we should be good. How long it's going to take, I don't know. But we can build, like, a cool little castle here or something. And once we put NPCs here, bad guys will stop spawning. It's just going to take time. I mean, this is a decent house in and of itself. Can I knock... I oh, you know what? I need hammers for this, don't I? Um... Don't think I have enough iron to make stuff fresh. I think we have to go back downstairs and grab my workbench and stuff and bring it back up here. Yeah, that's going to be tricky. We can do it, but it's tricky. Okay, we got to kill these harpies for sure, though. It's got to happen. Although, I need to heal up. Uh, give me a campfire, would you? That at least I know we can do. Campfire here. Shit, I keep doing that. I suppose healing potion, not a bad idea either. Okay, so campfire here, please. Thank you. Heal potion, sure, why not? Chug it, recover a little bit. Okay, harpy time, let's do it. Did I just do three damage to you? 14 damage is a little bit better. Okay, you did like 24 to me, though. That doesn't seem entirely fair. I'm gonna tell you that right now. It does not seem fair. Seems like I'm kind of phoning it in, to be honest. Could be just because it's an iron sword and I'm here a little bit early. I'm trying to stay away from their freaking feathers. Oh, come on. Come on. Just die already. Root. Why don't they just die on command? I guess that would make the game way too easy. Then it'd be journey mode. Nobody wants to play hardcore journey mode. It'd make no damn sense. Okay, we need... We need to leave. We have the platform. We have a recall potion. Actually, that's probably the safest. We know where this is. We can come back here. Yeah, let's do a recall potion first. I hate doing it, but we're going to have to do it. Um, gills, recall potion. Here we go. Okay. So go grab our stuff. You know what? Where's my... That's what I should have been using on the harpies. When I was inside, I should have been using the freaking yo-yo. Brain, where you been today? I miss you, Brain. We used to hang out together. It used to be great fun. You just stuff common with my parties. Not cool, my dude. Not cool. Unfortunately, we can't carry anything in these chests, or everything in these chests right now, but... Um, we don't have a chest... Don't we, yeah, we have multiple chests inside, too. So let me grab those. Let me start organizing. And that main room can be our treasure room. It's going to be a little hard to build initially. We can do it. I believe in us. That's the mission. We have a mission. Um, I guess we have to take this up because it's our only way up right now. Actually, now that we know where it is, we can just walk over this way and make another way up. I have enough rope for that. Yeah, we have 281 rope. That should be fine. Okay. Get our yo-yo ready. I like that we're carrying the balloon around. That's cute. We'll see how much damage this actually does. It's not like it's a godly yo-yo or anything, but it's got to be decent. Oh, did I? I did fall to my death here. Yep, I drowned. I remember that. I remember that. That was fun times. And by fun times, I mean let's never repeat that again. Never speak it again. Anything related to it can no longer be mentioned. So on and so forth. I don't jump in over the scorpions like they're actually going to hurt me. I've been burned too many times by uh, Animal Crossing scorpions. That's what it is. Yes, scorpions, not tarantulas. I do play in a southern hemisphere world in Animal Crossing. 
The reason why is because when it's cold, I want it to be hot, and when it's hot, I want it to be cold. I'm never satisfied. That's how it goes. Um, actually, only three damage to you, huh? Okay, that's a little bit worrying. It's not going to be nearly as good as I thought it was going to be for the Harpies. So I'm doing, like, maybe six damage to them on a good day. Oh, wait, this is it. Hold on. Where am I? Okay, I get hurt by you a little bit. Big deal. Where is... Ah, it's directly above me. Okay, okay, okay. Let's try to line this up a little bit. We want to be... Roughly about here to get the other side. Oh, hello, Corruption. How you doing? I don't know your name. What are you? Are you Eater of Souls? You're not eating my soul today, buddy. My soul isn't even fat-free. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Um, sure, why not? We'll take you guys out. While we're here. I'm assuming you guys don't murder me. Okay. Okay. We can do this. Okay, we're about underneath. That should be a good way to build up, I think. Then we'll be able to build uh, some of the NPC rooms in the cloud layer. And that should help the harpies despawn, I hope. It'd be kind of funny if this doesn't actually work, but we'll see. The harpies will have a hard time getting to us from underneath. And then we just, you know, make things work. Great. Rain time. Hey, guys. It's rain time. Okay. It seems weird to mine clouds, but we're going to ignore that for now. Um, we want to build... Let's see. How am I going to do this? Uh, that's a very good question. Definitely build those up. Anchor it in the clouds. All skyhook style. Uh, we definitely need... Oh, those are rain clouds. Okay, the, the gray ones are rain clouds. Good to know. Show sure, why not. Make some more constant rain. Doesn't matter. Okay, anchor it in the rain clouds, and then this should be a good platform for us. Can I build with clouds? I can. Well, now. That just gives me some opportunities. So I think instead we want to build with the platforms, right? Either side. So at least then if I jump off, we're good. Yeah, okay, good. Okay, so then this can be our entryway. And then we just need to start building up and out here. If it rains on us in the entryway, that's okay. And let's kind of slope upwards here. How we're going to do this. Okay. Now we do need background. And for that, we need a workbench. So maybe like this first area can be our workshop area. Yeah, making a little taller than us is probably a good idea. Uh, maybe we should off some marker here. This is not doing exactly what it wants. Okay. We need a work area. Yeah, the slimes here are okay, but the harpies are going to be an issue. So the more NPCs we put up here, the better. Okay, my first issue, though, is the uh, workspace. So we're going to need a big area for workspace. We're going to need another big area. I'm really probably going to replace all these clouds with dirt. Dirt or stone? Probably stone. I want the clouds because my idea for this sky by island is basically going to be a big giant castle in the sky. So we're going to replace all the dirt with stone too, probably. A big old castle in the sky with a side area on the west. That's going to have water in it. And that's where the angler and the pirate are going to hang out. It's going to be great. And we're going to build a big old cloud. It's going to be a cloud pirate ship. I don't know how big that's going to be, but that's my idea. Off to the side. We're going to see if that works. But for that, of course, I need to mine all these clouds out. For right now, though, let's grab these. Uh, maybe lay down stone floor. They make, like, stone walls. Looks like we have a cloud background. I don't know if that's sufficient for NPCs to move in, though. Cloud background sufficient? Seems like it wouldn't be. Yeah, I don't know. 
All right, so workbench that we need. We need iron anvil. We need the furnace. Also, probably need light. But we have the uh, we have that up there. Okay, so let's do down the workbench, down the furnace, put down the anvil. Okay, these are close enough that it should help me manufacture most stuff now. Um, so right now, what I want is a hammer. I don't know if I have enough stuff for a hammer on me right now. Let's see. Wooden hammer. Well, in lieu of anything else. Oh, there's the diamond gem corn. Why couldn't I do that before? That's a very good question. Let's build it now before I forget. I'm going to forget. So just one. We're not going to waste them. Um, tin bow. No, no, no. If anything, silver bow. A silver pickaxe, silver axe, silver hammer. Here we go. So hammer it up. Move everything down a notch. Okay, so the hammer knocks us knocks out backgrounds. I don't want to do that here, but we might need to do that later. Okay, so that's a start. We need doors that we need. We're gonna make these out of wooden doors right now for now. Let's do mana crystals. Okay, mana crystal, apparently just one. But it's a start, right? That's how we get our second start. We're good. Okay, so door. Make it an iron door. That seems Excessive. I mean, at some point, sure, we're definitely going to do that, but only when we operate everything else. I mean, right now, wooden doors will do. Um, give me four of these. Okay, now we're going to find out. Well, I said I was going to put down stone, then I didn't do it, huh? Can I make stone blocks? Stone walls? Actually, probably not a bad idea. How much stone do I have on me right now? 289 is not a lot. Granted, one stone block makes four stone walls. That's pretty good. That is a mudstone brick. No, thank you. Tin brick, gold brick, gray brick. Gray brick. There we go. Ooh, it costs two stone blocks to do. Yeah, but they look better than just plain stone, though. Yeah, if we're going to go castle, we got to go all out, right? Got to go all out. 144. It's not a whole lot. Be honest with you there, we're gonna need a lot more stone. I did say we're gonna need 70 million. Didn't mention that. And the gray brick wall, okay, we can do like half and half maybe. So 144 divided by two is 120, no, sorry. Nope, my brain stopped. Half is, half of 44 is 22, half of 100 is 50. So 50 plus 22 is 72. So half of 144 is 72. Alright, that should be helpful. 288's not a whole lot, but it's a start. Okay, I did say I was going to do this, so let's knock these out. There we go. And we'll replace them with brick, because that's what the whole island's going to be anyway. Eventually. Not yet, but eventually. We've got big plans. We've got big plans. And the problem with big plans, and also the great thing about big plans, is you have to work your way through them, you know? Can't just make him happen. You've gotta gotta plan everything out with those big plans in mind. Um, I suppose I could put down my stuff now, huh? Let's put down the Yeah, put down these three. You there. You there. And you there? Sure. It's a temporary measure anyway. Um, so here, put you. Put you. Uh you there. There we go. And you. Alright. So this is the end of room one. This is going to be the start of room two over here. And the great thing is I just need to kind of just aim in this general direction and my guy will go ahead and start filling it out as much as he can. Okay, so this is where the guide is going to live, I guess. Sure, why not? We'll put the guide here. Now, NPC happiness is a thing. They get happy or sad depending on their environment, who they're next to, all the good stuff. Their environment's going to be forest. It's going to be forest because that's where we are right now. Um, eventually, we're going to move like the witch doctor to the jungle, and like the truffle guy to a forest, to an underground biome, and all that good stuff. But for the most part, everyone else is going to live in the forest. I'm going to be fairly generous with the room allotment because, come on, this is going to be a castle. You can't build a castle and then be all miserly on trying to figure out, you know, how much room everyone gets. Everyone gets 
Um, what do we say? Maybe like 20 squares? The problem is measuring these out, but I suppose that's what we have these for. Uh, these blocks here. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Fifteen seems big enough. Well, I said don't be miserly, right? No, let's do the full twenty. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay, so this is gonna be the, the guide room, I suppose. Um, let's see. Grab those. So we're going to put the door right here. Doors go three tiles. So that should do it. Okay, so this will be the edge room here. Alright, so for the guide room we need... We need a comfort item, we need lights, and we need... Um, a flat surface. Where did my torches go? Where did I put my torches at? I was moving everything around. Can I sort? Quick stack nearby chest. Sort inventory. There we go. Thank you. I'm not sure that helped me. But there's the torches there, so maybe it did help me. Alright, for right now, we're just going to put torches up. Later on, we're going to put, like, chandeliers and all that fancy stuff. But for right now, it's just going to be torches. This looks it's very bright. Could be that it seems bright to me because I have my gamma way up. Okay. Now, we would like a flat surface and all that good stuff. It's a fireplace, cool. Chimney, too. Weather vane, we got lots of cool stuff. Alright, I just want a table. Um, I'm running out of inventory space. That's bad. Oh, you know what? I have a bunch of chests I need to put down, don't I? Okay, let's do that really quick. Just a simple gold chest. This will be for my crafting items, I suppose. So, that would definitely be, like, the tin bar. All that stuff there. Probably the Fallen Star counts as crafting, so there's the gel item. Mushrooms definitely do. Probably the ores do. Uh, wood, I suppose, is technically crafting items. So are the stone blocks. Uh, clouds? Clouds are probably not crafting items. Antlion mandibles might be... I mean, most of these things are going to be crafting. Diamonds, tin ore. Okay. It's something. It's progress. Yeah, for the most part. Okay, go ahead and just sort those. Thank you. Alright, now we have plenty of room. Um, I can definitely put down my table. There's my table. So the table goes over here. a chair. Can't have a table without a chair. Uh, apparently we can, because we're out of wood. <laughs> um, can I open this up? Do I have wood in here? Yeah, I did put the wood in here. Okay, I think with the wood here and these items here, I should be able to craft. And the answer to that is yes. Awesome. Okay, great. So, chair definitely, and we have the lights already. Okay, so give me, like, another chair, because I don't I think we might have met the requirements for the merchant to move in and make another room. Um, so we'll go ahead and put the... Uh, let's put it next to the hammer. Yeah. Um, I'm worried right now because... Put these in. I guess we have the room finder thing, right? It's another thing. Five defense. Where's the... There we go. Housing. Housing query. Is this a home? This housing is suitable. Okay, great. So, can we say who this is for? Oh, we can. We can say this is going to be the guide's house. Great. Okay, so the guide will move here. Fantastic. That's progress. Okay, so, I mean, he's in the cloud world. We'll move it eventually. It'll be all stone. It'll be great. We'll make windows. We'll make glass. It'll be fantastic. But for right now, that'll be this, do it for this episode. Thanks for watching. This has been Terraria. I'm PC Universe here, PC Universe 2, and I'll see you guys next time.